Greetings everyone, welcome back to Genshin Impact, and so, I know this looks bad, but, um, I can explain. Look, so, I, look, okay, I didn't spend more than $30 for this, okay, I just had really good luck for, for some odd reason. I didn't lose the 50-50, which was really wild, so yeah, I, I used a whole bunch of Primo Gems that I was getting from... I'm just going around the the world and shit, doing doing quests, and then I and then I only spent thirty dollars on Navia, so I got Navia. Um, I may have lied. So I also spent an additional twenty dollars on the battle pass for this one Claymore. Yes, okay. So that's that's about it. That's as much as I spent. Okay, just the thirty dollars for the Navia and then the twenty dollars for the Claymore. Yes, that's about it, because. I needed to get the the twenty or the, the on the battle pass. I, ne I needed to get this one so I can get ten levels and stuff, and then I get additional free stuff as well. So it just put me closer to getting the claymore. So I so I got the claymore. Either way, not what why we're here. We are here to do the Archon quest. Yes. Oh, and this is where we were at last time, if I remember correctly. Is this the place? You said she's here. But what do I need to do to see her? I don't know. Back then, I drank the water from the primordial sea. It heightened my sensitivity to the hydro element. And even Paimon could hear her after drinking that thing. Didn't you just drink a lot of it on the stage as well? Oh, in that case... Oh, man. Yes, that's it. So you heard it too. Vinier, it's me. It's me, Vache. Vache? Vache? I'm here! Where are you, Vinier? I'm coming for you. I'm finally here for you. Hey! Be careful! Hey! Wait! What? What's going on? Vinier, is that you? It's me! Why did you come? Didn't I say? You don't need to look for me. You... you look a lot older <laughs> than I remember. It's been more than 20 years. I've suffered for over... 20 years since the day you left. All this time, only the thought of bringing you back has kept me alive. Nothing. Ah, I must be dreaming. Who would have thought I'd get the chance to tell you all of my feelings like this? Vinier, you are my everything. I really don't know how I could live without you. But Vache, if you ask me, this world would be better off without you. What are you saying? If not for you, I would have finished my law degree and probably become a top-tier attorney one day. If not for you, I would have continued to pursue my love of the arts, and my works would have been displayed in the Palais Mermonia itself. If not for you, I would at least have been able to take care of my mother, and she would not have grown old and died alone, with nothing but the tears on her cheeks. Damn. It's all because of your selfishness, Vache. It's all because of you. You... Wait, you are not Vignier. Who are you? You're right. I am not Vignier. <clears throat> I am... The Sacrifices. Every woman who died by your hand. As our bodies dissolve, our consciousnesses flowed back to the primordial sea. <laughs> what the fuck? Our thoughts circulated endlessly within the primordial sea, and we were no longer individuals. But we became one, just as streams of water come together in the sea. I'm Cressy. I'm Lemony. I'm Azine. The only one I am not is Vignier. Why, what? though? But then, where is Vignier? She doesn't want to see you anymore. Every tendril of her consciousness is avoiding you. <laughs> Get for your selfishness. Your selfishness robbed us of our lives and our futures. You said time and time again that you'd do any and everything for her. But did you ever consider whether she'd want to see you do the things that you did? If she would despise you for what you became? You are a liar, a heartless murderer, and a cowardly narcissist. The only thing you are not is Vignier's beloved. From the moment your first victim died and her consciousness merged with Vignier's, 
She has had nothing but pure hatred for you. Wow. <laughs> Damn. It looks like I didn't meet Veneer back then either. They must have wanted me to learn Marcel here from the very beginning. No. She can't hate me. Let me see her. Please. Have mercy. You still don't understand. When I said don't look for me, that came from the real Vignier. She really doesn't want to see you anymore. But on top of that, she also said that because it's her final drop of pity for you. She said that because she knew that if you did come here, we will show no mercy to you. But the fuck? Drown. Oh, shit. Basha is dead. Later, the guards find that the culprit of the serial disappearance of... Oh, fuck. I didn't even get to read it. Several days later. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Who died? Finally, we have some time to do shopping. Gosh. It's really been a long time since we've been able to relax. Yeah. Shopping is stressful in of its own way. My legs are killing me. Huh. Well met, Navia. partner. I knew something great was going to happen when I woke up in such a good mood today. Why? Even this weather can't put a damper on the demoiselle's mood. It's a pleasure to see you both again. Oh, hey, Navia! It's been a few days. Paimon's already started to miss you. Oh, now that I believe. I'm easy to work with and always bring home the bacon. Who wouldn't treasure having a partner like me? Sounds like you're really enjoying life these days, Navia. One thing what I don't understand uh, is that Playful Navia doesn't other. sounds I've been different making from Story trips Navia. Between it's really and the weird. Since then. Everyone from Spina di Rosula organized a memorial for my father. We never held a memorial when he first died, since everyone knew that even if we held one back then, no one was going to come. This time, though, everyone in Poisson, and even many people from the court all attended. So his name's definitely been cleared now. That's what we like to hear. You now we have to defend fucking <laughs> Tortaglia. <laughs> it's been the dearest wish of Demoiselle all along. That blasted stubborn fool. I was right to put my faith in him. I'm so glad I didn't give up on the case all those years ago. Uh, things turned out as well as they could have. Oh, by the way, I ran into Charlotte just after I left the memorial service. Uh, well... Maybe it'd be more accurate to say I knew she would be there, and there was no way she'd just let me go. So you know Charlotte too? The Charlotte? Journalist from the Steamboat? Yeah, way back when I first became the president of the Spina di Rosula, she was all over me. Wouldn't take no for an answer. <laughs> I believe the story was called The True Heart of Darkness, Secret Tales of the Yellow Rose. Oh. To be fair though, it was a really flattering feature. So, we've been on pretty good terms ever since. She was trying to lean on our friendship to get me to do an exclusive piece on the serial disappearances case. Oh, she told us about that. She's always been super interested in that case, so now her wish has finally come true too. Anyway, I told her to make sure that when she writes about you guys entering the opera house with the critical evidence, that you both sound really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Now Damn. that's another thing to look forward to. We trust Charlotte's skills with a pen for sure. Oh, and in other news, I also took Clarand out for a meal. Damn, bro. Oh, are you two on better terms now? While you were investigating Vache's headquarters, Clarand gave testimony on my father's behalf. It was thanks to her that we were able to turn the tide. I wanted to thank her. I mean, <laughs> there's also no point in being awkward all the time. So we took the chance to reconcile with each other. Oh, that's great. Paimon also thought Clarend wasn't actually a bad person. Anyway, now that the case has finally been solved, <sighs> perhaps it will slowly begin to fade from the public consciousness. Oh, I don't know. Actually, there's still one last thing I need to do. What is it? I should pay a visit to my father's grave and tell him the truth of what happened, as well as how it all ended. And on top of that, just how much people still look up to him to this day. That includes me, too. Miss Navia. Indeed. Can I come too? Uh -huh. We want to go too. We also think Callus is a really admirable person. Sure thing. I'd like you two I to share the to moment go, with me. After all, without you, there might not have been such a positive ending. In that case, everyone, let's be off. 
Considering the recent weather, we'll be lucky if we can reach Poisson before dark. You're right. It's been raining non-stop for a few days now. Look, <sighs> kind of sucky. Ain't gonna lie. Raining non-stop for that long? This is where my father's grave is. To be perfectly honest, even I haven't been back here for a long time. Huh? There's someone there already. Wait, that figure. It keep. Ain't no mm -hmm. way. Why is Nivellet here? <laughs> Why is Nivellet here, bro? My apologies. I should have asked before coming to pay my respects. Don't say that. Sorry about that. Oh, uh, I was trying to say there's no need for you to apologize. I wanted to show my father how much I've grown, but still, I doubt I've grown to the point that even the Chief Justice would feel compelled to apologize to me over and over. In that case. I will stop apologizing for <laughs> for now. What do you mean? For you now? really could use some pointers on understanding human emotions, Monsieur Nervillette. In any case, why did you come to Poisson? Yeah. <clears throat> well, ever since that day, I've been turning a question over and over in my head. Just what is justice anyway? I there was know. once a time when I didn't want to believe that there could be anything more important to humans than life itself. No, oh, rather than that. It's probably more truthful to say I didn't believe humans were capable of resisting the most basic instinct of living things. That they could rebel against their own nature, or consider certain things to be more important than their own lives. Which is also okay. why I didn't stop your father from beginning that fateful duel. I believed that a truly innocent man would never throw away his life like that. That there was nothing, should have been nothing more important then what but Mr. Callis proved me utterly and decisively wrong. If not for his sacrifice, the serial disappearances case would have remained unsolved to this day. Damn. Mr. Callis made the choice he did for his daughter, for his associates, and for many people completely unrelated to him. And in the end, from a certain perspective, one could say that he did it all for the sake of justice. The sake of justice. justice that's higher than life itself so you asked me why i came here i just wanted to say my apologies to mr callis in person i should have noticed all of this much sooner this regret has filled me with a sadness that has haunted me for days that high and mighty chair in the opera epicles indeed insulates one from many important things spina di rosula thank you so much for your hard work and perseverance i'm sorry for being mad at you before so, you're actually one of those types that's cold on the outside, but pretty thoughtful on the inside, huh? That reminds me of Silver, one of my guys. Sorry about yeah. that. Self-expression is not one of my strong suits. Didn't I just say you don't need to apologize? Yeah, so I was like playing like early Genshin Impact yesterday on another account, and I noticed that like... In the early Genshin Impact, the lips actually move to their words. <laughs> now they just don't do that. <laughs> but in Star Rail, right now, so every, every mouth moves well. Following Navi and Nivellet, you pay whatever the fuck. Paimon's never paid respects at someone's grave before. Uh, did Paimon do anything rude there? <laughs> well, you're not. Were you? Well, you're you. Well, you're not usually supposed to fly around someone's grave. <gasps> Shut up. You have feet for a reason. You don't have to fly all the goddamn time. Click it. Oh, Navia won't be too mad. Wow, she took it seriously. Anyway, <laughs> Nervalette is still standing around there. It's not often that we can catch him alone like this, so why don't we go talk to him for a bit? If we can't talk to Lady Farina, we can at least talk to him, right? Oh, okay. Let's go talk to Nervalette. Hold on. I'm spinning. And then, uh, yeah. Feeling lucky? Okay, Navi is really good. <laughs> Fucking, uh, she's probably like. Oh, it's you two. The only good Jim Joker. Miss Navi, <laughs> invite you to come pay your respects to her father. We ran into Navi on the streets today, so we just followed her here. Then is there something that I can help you with? Uh, um, well, it's pretty hard to run into you like this since you're usually super busy. 
So we figured we could try to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. Please feel free. Though outsiders, you helped us solve one of the greatest mysteries in Fontaine, and it would be my pleasure to return the favor. About water from the primordial sea, about the prophecy that has been circulating around Fontaine, about child, about my sibling. Your sibling? Another blonde-haired traveler? I'm sorry, but I've never seen anyone who matches that description. How old is Nouvellet? That's the thing. Like, you know, because uh, how, how everything goes is that his, our sister, came to Tevat many, many, like, got sent to Tevat many, many years ago. A very long time ago. So, yeah, that's, that's how the story, that's how the story goes. So, there has to be at least someone who's still alive that's actually met our sister. But I don't know. Who on Te who in Tevat has actually been alive long enough to have met our sister? I don't know. <laughs> if she ever stepped foot in Fontaine, I'm sure she followed our laws to the letter and had no reason to appear on the stage of the opera Epicles. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about? About child. My apologies. What if I ask about this? My investigation has still not again. reached its conclusion. However, I still believe the judgment of the oratrice was not rendered arbitrarily. But you also said you thought he was innocent. For many years, I have been quite aware that the oratrice does not simply mechanically repeat the verdict that I give on each case. As a divinely created mechanism, the people's unified faith in the concept of justice is integrated into it. Not only can it produce the incredible power of indemnitium, well, child's definitely but it not also innocent. He's a part of the Fatui, such as self-awareness. So is that pro that's like probably why he's Which is all to say like I've been guilty. prepared for a situation like this for a long time. So when Lenny told us that he heard a human voice from the room where the Oratrice's core is stored. I was not aware such a thing had occurred. Perhaps that could serve to prove my conjecture. I will add that to the list of items to investigate. Okay. In any case, I am inclined to believe that the Oratrice does have a methodology all its own. We just do not have enough information. Based on Farina's reaction, I doubt even she had any idea what was going on. <laughs> she managed to bluff her way through it, though. The time-tested twin tricks of bravado and drama. While we do <laughs> intend to get to the bottom of this, for now, we regret to say that the Fatui Harbinger will just have to bide his time in the fortress of Meripede. If we did incorrectly convict him of crimes he did not commit, we will most certainly compensate him to the fullest extent allowed by the law. If you ask Paimon, the only compensation he'll want is a no-holds-barred fight with you. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about? I don't know. So in a freaking in Honkai Star Rail, the um, the player character can actually fucking actually talks a lot more <laughs> than the traveler. Either way, about the prophecy that the sea levels will rise and everyone will be dissolved in water, leaving Farina crying alone on her throne, but the sins of the people will be finally washed away for good. <laughs> Does that appropriately summarize the version you've heard? It's right. Yeah. It was Linny that told us back then, and that about covers all the main points. Yes, up to the present, I think we reached a point where we have no choice but to confront this prophecy directly. Mm -hmm. Rumors have it that this prophecy is rooted in the last words the former Hydro Archon left to the world before she passed away. A prophecy? Of the former Hydro Archon? Wow. This is the first time that we've ever heard of it. I don't know when, uh, fucking... What was it called again? Was it Conria? I think it was Conria. Um, I don't know when Conria comes out, but, um, whenever it does... I, I want to finish, um, Fontaine's quests before the next... A location actually arrives <laughs> i don't know when that will happen though because two came out last year which was pretty wild <laughs> two came out last two parts year of two the prophecy two already big correct. they're like the biggest the freaking levels sections the of, get, of the tevat map we should be more vigilant and, and fontaine apparently the biggest signs. and it's still not done fontaine is like not even done yet because it's supposed to be the biggest lo biggest region of genshin impact speaking of the prophecy Farina has also always taken it quite seriously. Indeed, she has been collecting information and intelligence from across Tevat for this purpose. <laughs> if the rumors were true, then perhaps this prophecy is the conundrum left to Farina by her predecessor. But with Farina being the way she is, can we really trust her to 
to solve it? <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about? Well, I guess there's one more thing. About water from the primordial so, sea. at court, the bad guys referred to that special water as water from the primordial sea. But what is it really? Truthfully, that name is already quite accurate. I can only surmise that Vache and his ilk only learned of its nature and existence after extensive research. There used to be a special sea on the surface of this planet. The nature of its seawater was rather different from that of the sea we know today. Most of Tevat's life forms were first born in that special sea. You could say it nurtured much of the life on this planet. Damn. One thing that would be kind of cool um, <laughs> would be if once Genshin Impact's story actually, after it's fully done, it'd be cool if they either continue the main game, but from the other siblings' point of view, back, like, um back when they got sent back like way before with a whole set of new characters and shit from different regions um or, or also make just a completely different game <laughs> it'd be cool if they if they do that because you could switch to the other it would make a lot more sense um if it was in this world or so or if it was in this game after they finish it because then it just switches it over to the other sibling and then you're already in the back and then their journey to, I don't know, joining the abyss or something. <laughs> yeah. But either way, let's just... <laughs> so it really was where everything began. It makes sense to call it Primordial then. <laughs> but today, the Primordial Sea no longer exists on the planet's surface. What Vashe discovered must have been some kind of special case or a remnant from a truly ancient age. Huh. So that's how it is. Oh, you really know everything, Monsieur Nervalet. But if that's the case, then why would people... Uh, at least people... Indeed. Why would the Primordial Sea, which was known to engender and nurture life, suddenly reverse itself and devour life instead? To be frank, that also doesn't match my understanding of this world and its laws. There must still be some unknown... Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about? Uh, no... I have no more questions. Very well. It was my honor to provide you with what answers I could. I very much enjoyed conversing with you. Okay. It will soon be time for me to leave this blissful tranquility behind and return to Palais Memonia. You really are super busy, Monsieur Nervalet. Paimon thought you only came here to pay your respects today because you had the day off. <laughs> Crime and villainy do not have the day off, and so justice must work around the clock as well. This is merely the nature of a justice's work. All right, you've got a point. Paimon just noticed that the rain has stopped. Cl click it. Click it. There you go. We completed Act 2. We've been walking around for a while now. Why don't we go back to the Spina di Rosuma? Oh, no. Whoa. Okay. I have a lot of these. But I want to get Farina's. But I gotta complete fucking... I gotta complete Act 5. What's this one? Just got. I gotta complete Act Five before I unlock Freena and Navia, because I, I forgot I can do that. Okay, I have enough to get one of these, but I don't really want any of these characters, the stories or so. None of them are continuations. They're all new. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't have any continuations. I've already completed all the, the continuations. So far, actually, here only Nahida has uh has two. And Nah Nahida only has two. Um, let me see over here. I I already have the Kuki Shinobu quests, but I haven't started them yet. Which ones? So there's no new ones here. Uh, yeah, there's no new ones. I was going to check out this right here. Monsa, Liwei, Inazuma, and Fontaine. Yeah, I I can't see the rest. But I just know there's five acts. My God, there's five acts, and I'm pretty sure. That I, I hope hopefully that's the the max because Sumeru has five acts and Inazuma he only has three acts but there's an act there's a two interlude chapters and this one chapter two for the travelers uh this one has three acts and this one has three 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 and then a five so I'm pretty sure Fontaine's gonna have five acts as well but before I continue that real quick, let me actually, so my, what I've been trying to do is, um, 
I've been trying to uh, this world, this ascend world. Navia. So I was doing her like quests and stuff. I have some uh, resin. So I'm going to go defeat the freaking... I forgot his name. It's the spinny dancing guys. But let me just come over here. Because I got one of those. Um, click it. Got one of those things. You know, those things. Resonate with Hydro. Us, so I can uh, con us constellation set the constellations right here. I already have C2. <laughs> the movement speed of rising water bubbles will be decreased by 30% and its duration increased by 3 seconds. Oh, okay. Um, but I already have my Traveler at level 90. God dang. Let me switch back over to, to Raiden Shogun. Switch begins. And come over here. The... The suits, guys. Because I need to defeat them two more times. Two more times. And then I gotta go look for uh, stuff. Because if I come over to Navia's ascension things. I need to defeat this guy. I already have two of them. It's the Icewind suits. Then I need to look for these. I need 30 of those. I don't even know if I can get 30 of them. Let me see. Uh, achievements. Come over here. I'm gonna get this. Okay. Like, so in the... I have a lot of those, but in over here, I was trying to get this, but then I was like, I already like kind of leveled up my, my, the, the, the sword I have for Navia right now, or not the sword, but the Claymore. So I'm trying to get the Mist Splitter, Reforged. It's uh, supposed to be Aika's weapon. I doubt I'll use it on Aika if I do get it, but I don't know. She leaves in like four days. <laughs> Because Raiden Shogun is coming back. It's been a whole year since I got Raiden Shogun. <laughs> okay. 